we're going to look at continuity. And in this uh, question, they're asking which rule is violated for continuity at x equals 2. So that's the x value we're working on. So x value of 2. So we're really thinking about that right there. What I'm going to do is go into the book so that uh, I know exactly uh, what we're looking for here. So we're in 2.1, and I'm going right into the continuity section. Definition of a function to be continuous at a point. So it has to, so it is continuous at x equals a, if and only if, which means it's the definition, or it's continuous exactly when the limit at x approaching a is equal to the y value at a. And there's a nice example right here in the book. So we're going to go over this example briefly. And there's several x values in here that are significant. And just looking at this table right here on the left, uh, 1 is the first x value we'll look at. At 1, you can see the graph is filled in right there. And the function approaches on both sides. I'm going to take this graph and you should rewrite it in your notes, but I have this graph right here, and we're going to examine this a little more closely now. So this point right here at one, lim x approaches one, f of x is equal to the y value of two. Now that's because if you follow along right here, both parts of this curve approach the y value of two. So that's why the limit equals 2 there. Now, the actual y value is the filled in part of this. So also, f of 1 is equal to 2. And when both of these exist and are equal, the function's continuous. So we can write continuous at x equals 1. So we're going to look at the next x value, which is 2. Now we got a problem at 2. The limit exists because if you do the same thing, if you approach both sides, the limit exists and is equal to, the again, the y value of 2. So this is limit x approaches. Now the x value is approaching 2. f of x equals this 2 that I just wrote is the y value that both of them are approaching. So the limit exists. But the second part, what is f of 2? So if I plug in the x value 2, not approaching, but if x equals 2, if you look we're right up here, that's the y value that we have. So f of 2 is equal to 1. And 2 and 1 are not the same number, which means I can write lim x approaches 2, f of x is 2, which is not equal to 1, which is f of 2. Now, both of these exist, but they're not equal. We're going to go back to the textbook briefly. In the textbook, the limit has to exist and equal the y value here. When, th when they're not equal, so the limit exists but is different, what we get is a graph that has a hole in it right here, so it's not continuous. Uh, at x equals 2. This discontinuity is what we call removable. Discontinuity. I'm bad at spelling. Dis. I'll just type, or write dis CTS, discontinuity. This is a removable discontinuity. All right, the next x value we'll look at is 3. Now, we got serious problems at 3 because when we approach 3 on either side, you get different values. So that means the one-sided limits do not agree. So now we're focused at x equals 3. So limit x approaches 3 on the left, which I put a minus sign. And I always remember this negative means from negative land or from the left. So on the left, we're up here approaching y value of 2. 
limit x approaches 3 from the right, from positive land, that's coming in from this side, what value are we approaching? Our y value will be 1. So the problem is, because these two one-sided limits disagree, if you put them together, x approaches 3, f of x, it can't be 2 and 1, so we say this does not exist. Usually I'll write d and e because we're lazy. Uh, separately, I didn't even talk about the value yet. The filled in point is up here at a y, uh, y value of 2. So f of 3 is equal to 2. And if we go back to the definition of continuous, this limit didn't exist. So right there we're stuck and we can say discontinuous. This discontinuity, when the limit does not exist because they disagree, that's what we call a jump discontinuity. I'll probably spell it wrong, but let's label it. So we say not continuous at x equals 3, and we call this a jump discontinuity. Okay. Oh, and I totally wrote that above 4. So... I was referring to 3. Uh, I won't write down 4, uh, but at 4, uh, the limit exists on both sides. No problem, it's approaching 2. However, f of 4 is undefined. There's not some filled-in point down here. There is no point at x equals 4. So because f of 4 is undefined, it's going to be discontinuous. Uh, I believe that's called removable. Uh, that would not be a jump discontinuity because they have the same y value. All right, now that we reviewed the problem in the textbook, let's look at this problem. Which of the following rules uh, for the continuity is violated first? So we're thinking about that point right there. Does the limit exist in this graph if we approach on the left and the right? Uh, get that little arrow out of there. If we approach on the left and the right, they're both approaching a y value 1, so I can write that this limit does exist. x approaches 2. Uh, it's probably called f of, f, f of x. Yep, so the limit is equal to 1. So, so far, so good. However, what is f of, just plugging in 2, on this graph, if I look up and down here, there is no filled in point. So this is undefined. So let's look, we got three choices. Uh, and they said violated first, which I think means go top to bottom. So right away, f of a is undefined. Here, of course, a is two. Uh, so it's undefined. Uh, the limit does exist. So even if, even if this was filled in, um, the limit uh, exists. But either way, they would not be equal. Uh, but on this particular question, they ask which one's violated first, and it is f of a is undefined.